Hey guys, we're in the studio again with Pastor Tom, and we've got a spicy one today. We yes. brought you in here to be the goat for this one. I didn't dare <laughs> do this topic by myself because we're talking about rewards in heaven, okay? Are there rewards in heaven? I know a lot of Christians, when they first hear about this topic, it freaks them out, right? Yes. Because it seems to go against the main thing that we teach, right? Yeah, I mean, if Jesus died for all of our sins, and there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, God, Jesus has taken the total wrath against sin, uh, the judgment of my sin. For every one of them, it almost seems contradictory in a lot of people's minds that one day I'm going to have to stand before God on judgment day and give account for my life. Mm -hmm. But yet it says in Corinthians that we all, as believers in Jesus mm -hmm. and having the assurance of eternal life, are going to one day stand before the judgment seat of Christ and give an account for every decision and action that we made in this life, whether it be good or bad. And we'll put a link to that verse below so you don't think he's making that up. <laughs> but I can just feel people sweating right now on the other side of those cameras because they're, they're like, wait, I have to give account for all that stuff? Where is the grace in that? How would you answer that? Well, okay, um, I was in the Air Force for 20 years. Yeah. And if I was called into my boss's, my commanding officer's office, and, and, and was given an evaluation for how I did that year, which yeah. we did on a yearly basis, yeah. and I looked at my commander and said, why are you gonna evaluate me? Where's the grace in this? Yeah. I mean, it's life. I mean, it's just the way life is. I, when you are, you're a father, you have two children, you are constantly, uh, uh, teaching them, giving them consequences for right and wrong decisions when they're yeah. young so that when they're older, they will be able to make right decisions. Yeah. All right, wh where's the grace in that? Yeah. Isn't that the same principle? Well, but except that sounds really legalistic. I'm playing devil's advocate here, Tom. That sounds really legalistic. Isn't that going to force me into a legalistic kind of faith, kind of religion? Well, did you consider really your relationship with your children legalistic? Mm. I mean, it's... It's, um, I feared my father, but I loved my father. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to please my father, and I didn't. And it's more of a relational thing, and mm -hmm. that's why it is different than the job review thing. Mm -hmm. But it's just the way that God has designed life. And, mm -hmm. and heaven is not going to be some, some uh, on a city on a cloud playing a harp. He that is faithful in little, God's going to entrust to them much. You've, mm -hmm. been, you've been faithful into this many talents. Here, I will entrust you in charge of this and that and the other thing it says in Matthew 25. So are and there different neighborhoods in heaven? You know, <laughs> is there, are there are going to be the slums in heaven and then kind of people way up on the uh, hill? What did Jesus say to the Pharisees? I can't even explain to you earthly things in a way that you will understand. How in the world am I going to begin to tell you and explain yeah. how heaven's going to be? I don't yeah. know, but all I know yeah. is there's going to be a judgment and I'm going to have to answer for this life. Okay, so let's, let's just back up a second. Let's be clear about one other thing. Because again, this is controversial. In fact, I encourage you, if you're watching this, feel free to comment on it below. And because you might have a different opinion about this, that's fine. Just make sure it's based on scripture, right? <laughs> um, and, and I encourage you also to talk with your pastor about this. If you know your pastor might have some things to say about this. But let's back up and talk about the, the, the role that grace plays. Because I want to make sure that people don't misunderstand. You're not saying that we're saved no, not at by all. what we do. Not at right? all. Not at all. So walk us through that. Well, we're saved by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. And what works do we have to do for that? Absolutely, positively nothing. Okay. In fact, if I'm trusting in works to get to heaven, yeah. I'm not going to get there because I can't just right. trust 50% in Jesus, 75%, 100% in what Jesus has done. Right. That I know I'm going to heaven. Okay. So we're not talking about that. We're not, not talking about earning your salvation. Not at all. We're talking about working for something else, some other reward Right? We're not talking about salvation being the reward. Right? No, and, and, and just even the, the simple thing about giving. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say? He said, if you give, that it will, it, you will benefit you in this life, but also in the life to come. There's mm -hmm. eternal, I'm not just getting interest in the bank when I put it in, mm -hmm. in the bank for this world, but when I give to God, it's like give, it's e bringing me eternal dividends, yeah, yeah. okay? And that the scriptures are clear about yeah. that. And then, so it is in other, how, 
God has gifted you. He's gifted me. What yeah. did we do with those gifts? Yeah. Did, do we use them for his glory in this life that he's given or not? They're, we're we're going to give an account for yeah. all that God has entrusted to us. So how does this affect you when you learned this? How did this change the way you looked at your Christian life? Well, it, it's it's... I think about everything that I do in life, knowing that, yeah, it's out of that. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons that people might have a problem with this. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm motivated by eternal rewards, mm -hmm. then where's the love in that? Mm -hmm. well, but, and, and that's a great, that's a great concern to have. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't like, you know, having religious people do things for you because they know they're going to get rewarded or not for it. And when, they, and when, and depending on how you respond to it, they just, you know, turn their face and don't want anything. To, no, it, we're not talking about that. We're mm -hmm. just talking about just in life. Mm -hmm. I mean, why did you do good in school? Because you, you're not a, you don't have to be greedy in order to do good in school. You just know it's a fact of life that you be diligent with what you have. And there are rewards for that. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing when it comes to the Christian life. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, we're going to let Tom take a walk now and walk this one off a little bit. <laughs> But I encourage you guys to use the questions below and talk about it. This is a tough one. And I, I really encourage you to dig into some of the scripture we put down below. We'll put a link to a book. I think The Treasure Principle is a great book along these lines. We'll put a link to that, maybe a couple other books down below. Talk about it with your group or mentor. And, uh, and really allow yourself to be challenged to think, what you know? are there some things in my life that I should really be a little bit more diligent about because I'm a follower of Jesus? And we'll see you in the next video.